All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are doing fantastic. Silly, silly, silly stuff. Silly. The Democrats are the party of silliness because they want you to do things that are just silly. You see, we try to, like, think about this and say, okay, I want to be part of the team. I want to do whatever it takes to be part of the team. And we could come out with facts on how to fix something. But now the Democrats, they push it into the silly stuff. I'm going to show you an example right here where a guy actually got fired for saying, no, I think that's silly. And that's what's going to happen. They're really, really not going to force you, hopefully, you know, they know they're going to get into a lot of trouble to hold you down, and put a mask on. But they're going to make it super difficult for you to live your life if you don't comply. Here's the thing. You should be familiar with this if you are a gun owner. They tell you, oh, no, you have the right to have a gun, but they make it really hard. You need to pay for a background check. You need to pay for licenses to carry a rifle or, or, or a pistol. Excuse me. You have to go through training. You have to do a lot of things in order to get that license, right? And once you get the license, then they tell the public that, oh, anybody could carry a gun. It's that easy. You know, it's easier to buy a gun than to vote. And you think to yourself, what do you mean? I had to pay for background checks. I had to pay for training. I had to submit paperwork. I had to get fingerprints. I had to send the paperwork to Tallahassee someplace. I had to wait weeks. What do you mean it's easier? And what do you mean that anybody could carry a gun and this and that? Well, criminals. Well, criminals don't follow the law. So they make you do a bunch of silly stuff, and then they tell people that, you don't have to do anything that you just, you know, could get a gun and that's it. And regular people that don't carry a gun actually believe it. So when those people, you know, attend to get a gun or get into the gun community, they go like, wait a minute. There are already a bunch of laws about this. And we, the gun people, go like, yeah, yeah, we've been telling you that, right? So, again, silly stuff, right? The mass, silly stuff. Let me share a couple things before I get into that. I want to share this. With you guys, you know how to support this channel, right? Become a patron. Got 38 patrons. You guys are amazing. Thank you so much for the support. Join the squad. Use the Amazon affiliate links. One of the best way. Everybody buys stuff in Amazon. And you know what? When you buy stuff with my links, I make money out of that. I appreciate the people that does, you know, do that every single day. <laughs> All right, so let me go back into this. And like I'm telling you, they're going to make it complicated, just like guns. They're making it complicated. They're not going to hold you down, force you to wear. They know they'll be in trouble if they do that. But they're going to make it hard for you to work. They're going to make it hard for you to do groceries. They're going to make it hard for you to do anything. Go to the movies. Spend time with your family. You work all week hard, like some of us do. And then you want to take your family to the movies, and you got to deal with silly people, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. If you are so scared that you're going to get contaminated, stay home. If you are so scared you're going to get hurt, what are you doing at the Mexican restaurant? Go home and order pizza, right? But no, no, they're going to go out wearing gloves, wearing a mask, another mask, and wearing a face shield, looking like a zombie, walking around, giving you a dirty look, trying to record you to put you on Facebook. No one wants to record me for some reason. I don't know why. But it is what it is. And then things like this where you see this teacher that got fired for not enforcing a regulation or for plain simple refusing. Now, if you work at a place that requires you to wear a mask, you're going to have to make that decision. But again, here's what he was saying. Uh, let me share my screen here, which, again, I say silly because as you read this, it doesn't seem to me like the guy believed that. Again, believe that the mask ain't going to do anything because we know it's changed according to the political party, right? First, oh, yeah, masks don't work. Somebody else get elected? Oh, masks do work. I'm sorry. I don't know what I was thinking. Masks do work. Then CDC, oh, masks don't work. Mark, masks do work. Make up your mind. Oh, your mind is made up by the party that is in control. They tell you what to tell us in the bottom. I understand that. It doesn't take a rocket science to get that. But here's the thing. You know, a track coach, uh, Bradley, was fired for refusing to enforce mass mandate to his team. 
And as I read this, it's not like he's refusing when the uh, the guys are walking around in the hallways, the guys are in the classroom next to each other. No, it's when the kids are running. Like, silly stuff. You're going to make somebody run with a mask? I mean, I have put that stupid mask on, and it's hard to speak. I already have enough issues speaking because English is my second language. Imagine me with a mask on. It's hard. It's hard to breathe. And you know what? I'm a little bit fat, not super fat, but if you are overweight, I guarantee you that it's even worse, even worse, because, you know, it, it restricts the air from coming into you. Like, I'm a little bit overweight, and I'm like <sighs> trying to get this breathing uh, concept, right? So, again, here you have uh, being fired for refusing to mandate uh, to his team the coach New Hampshire High School. Let me go back here. I will not. I will not put my kids on the track and tell them to run races while wearing a mask. This is the thing that kind of I was like, you got to be kidding me, man. Like, seriously, you got you have to be kidding me while running. Not while walking in the hallway. Not while being in a classroom. Not while running. You want children to run with a mask on? Silly stuff. Silly stuff. I would not stand in front of my kids and lie to them that this mask are doing anything worthwhile in the open field with wind blowing and sun shining. Again, it doesn't seem like this guy is not trying to apply common sense. This guy is just saying, hey, look, man, when we outside, which essentially that's how it was, you are outside from each other and you are running. Am I going to tell my kids to wear a mask? That doesn't even make sense but it's the silly stuff it's just the same way that you saw those children at school playing instrument inside camping town Camp camping excuse me camping tents i don't know if it were tents maybe there were bathroom tents or something just silly stuff right so you see him saying that and obviously he kind of said that fire me if you must well guess what they fire him they just fire him either you comply with the silly stuff or they fire you that's just how it is. And it's sad to see that. But you know what? He says, I'm not surprised. I made my choice to speak up and they make theirs. And again, he got fired. So here's the thing. Nowadays, we're living in a life that is insane. No one have ever said, at least me, I have never said, don't wear a mask. If you're an older person and you feel that you need to wear a mask, you wear a mask. But this is the problem that we have essentially in the gun control community. You give away your rights and they're going to take it all. That's why it's difficult for me to concur with any gun laws because I know the ultimate is control. They say two weeks, 15 days, or whatever it was. What happened? A year later, we're still playing this game. We're still getting harassed. The American people are in fear for their life. And that is the saddest thing that I've seen so far. I'm going to tell you that. It's not the masses and anything else. It's the saddest thing that I've seen since I've been witnessing this is the fear of the American people. You know, years ago, there was a Japanese general who says, we cannot attack the United States. If we attack the United States, every American will have a rifle. You know why? Because they thought that we were bad to the bone. You better not mess with us. I don't know what they would say nowadays because you walk into Target, Walmart, the movies, and they're looking at you like you are a zombie or something. Like you are weird. Look at that weird guy with no mask. You must be unpolite, savage. You are a bad person. And I'm like, why are you, look you looking at me like that, dude? You're the guy that looks funny with two masks in, in your face. You got a diaper in your face and you're looking at me weird? Doesn't even make sense to me. Why are you giving me that dirty look? For some reason, no one wants to confront me about it. But it is what it is. Let me know what you think about this. Uh, sad. Like I say, they're going to make it hard for you to live your life. They continue to do this. They continue to make it hard in your job. They continue to make it hard in your grocery store. They continue to make it hard in your kids' school because they are forcing you to do this. It doesn't seem like a free country to me. Let me know what you think. Put comments down below. Remember, one last thing I want to say. My body, my choice. Apparently, to commit abortions is okay, but to wear a mask is not okay. Let me know what you think. Put comments down below. And as always, God is in control.